question one which of the following is an even function طبعاً, this is not an even function if you put one and minus one you will get different answers here also you'll get different answers this one is an even function because one or minus one it, absolute it will give you the same result this one is a even function this one you'll get different results and this one you will get different results so the even function when you put the number and negative the number you will get the same uh, range which of the following is a one-to-one -one function طبعاً, only these two because the one-to-one -one function when you draw a horizontal line test it should cut the um, the function into one point only so here it cuts in three this is two here it's two two here it is two so this one only it cuts in one and this one it cuts in one so these two are a one-to-one -one function here he's asking to select right this one this one is not a one-to-one -one function this is a mini to one is it a relation or a function the function if you draw the vertical line it will cut in one point only if you draw a vertical line and it cut in two point it is not a function it is called a relation so this one if you draw any vertical line it will cut only in one point so this is a function but it is not one to one it is mini to one function here this is not a one to one that i know for sure so it is either b or d it's a mini to one but is it a relation or a function if you draw a line here vertical line here or vertical line here it will cut in two points so this is not function so it is called a mini to one relation this one if you draw vertical or horizontal it will cut only in one point so this is a function and it is a one to one function so it is c again here which one is a one to one function this is cutting into two so not one to one not one to one this one it is cutting only one point horizontal but vertically it is cutting in two points so this is not even a function this is a one to one you can call it one to one relation but not function so this is only the one to one function and this is the one to one function because vertically and horizontally it will cut in one point Question five, you have a function g of x. He wants g of one. So you will just put the number one into this equation. One to the power of three is one minus two is minus one times three is minus three. You put minus one, minus one minus two is minus three times three is minus nine. So this is of course not, it's not uh, an odd function and not an even function. So, and not a one to one function. This is just a function. So this, this was the correct selection. It is not an odd function. Question six, he's giving you this relation and what can be proven from this uh, relation? So here f of minus x is equal to five. He put the minus here, but he didn't put it here. So this is wrong. Here, he put minus x here and he put minus x here. So this is correct. Here he put minus he didn't f of minus x he put here minus five so if you if you if you if you uh, simplify this equation five times minus x is minus five x minus minus it will be positive four over x so this is the solution of this correct substitution so this is also correct this one Taiwan is wrong because he didn't multiply minus. And this one is type here f of x is 5x minus 4 over x f of minus x is minus 5x plus 4 over x so f of minus x equal to minus f of x no f of minus x is equal to minus f of x this is correct meaning the function of x if you put substitute negative x you'll get minus the function of x so this is an odd function please don't get confused between these two you know that the odd function if you put f the function of x is equal to negative the function of minus x or the function of the negative x equal to minus the function of x you're simply getting negative 
you put one you will get three if you put minus one you will get minus three so this is the this is the, the meaning of it this one f of minus x equal to minus f of minus x so you're getting the range if you put minus one you're getting negative the range if you put minus one it's not this is not the identification of the odd function Question 7. Consider this function p. He wants to substitute p of 3. If you put 3 here, 3 plus 2, 5 to the power of 2, 25 plus 4 is 29. p of minus 3, minus 3 plus 2 is minus 1 to the power of 2, 1 plus 4 is 5. So the value of 3 and minus 3 is different. So this is not an even function and also not an odd function. Which of the following are even function? Come on here, 4 times 1, 4 plus 1 is 5, and 4 times minus 1 is minus 4 plus 1 is minus 3. So this is not even and not odd. Here, if you put 1 or minus 1, you'll get the same answer, so this is even. Here, if you put 1 or minus 1, you'll not get the same answer, and you'll not also get the negative answer. So this is not even and not odd. This one, absolute, you will always get um, the same answer, so this is even. Here you will not get the same answer or negative of the answer. This is not even and not odd. Here you will always get the same answer. So this is an even function. This is the function g and he's asking to restrict the domain to make it a one-to-one -one function. Here you have the same values until here. So your function is from here until here. This is only the graph that passes the horizontal line test. If you make a horizontal line in any of these intervals, you will get one point only. But here you will get many points, here you will get many points. So your function is from, this is minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. So your function is from minus 3 to 1, 2, 3, 4, until 4. You have a function g of x and select all that apply g of minus x it will equal to 5 minus x to the power of 3 and because this is an e an odd exponent so it will be minus 5x to the power of 3 so this is wrong the domain of g is the set of all real numbers yes i don't have any restrictions in the denominator or radical g of minus x equal to 5 this is correct taman i just mentioned it here g is an odd function yes it is correct because if you put one uh, you will get five and if you put minus one you'll get minus five so it's an odd function g of minus x equal to minus g of x yes because it is an odd function again you have a function g which of the following is true g of minus x equal to minus g of x is it an odd function no because here yes you will have here an even function here you will have an odd function so this is not an even and not an odd function so it's not even this is not odd and not even not odd also g is not an even function yes g is defined for all the set of real numbers yes i don't have any denominator or radical restrictions this equation to be a one-to-one -one function, he needs the values of uh, where should I restrict my function. So to be a one-to-one -one function, you need to have only for one point in the domain, you need to have one point in the range. Your problem is here, as I mentioned, inside the exponent, inside this bracket. Because if you put one, if you put minus one, it will always be the same answer. So here you have to restrict all the numbers should be positive or all the numbers should be negative so it's either x greater than or equal to zero or x greater than or equal to uh, less than or equal to zero طبعاً x here i mean what is inside the uh, the two brackets so x minus six must be greater than or equal to zero and x minus six must be less than or equal to zero so x is greater than or equal to six or x is less than or equal to six this is this is a one-to-one -one function and this is a one-to-one -one function because your values here will be all be either positive or all be negative so it's a one-to-one -one function so your point k is six you have a curve until here it's a one-to-one -one function and then it goes and again so if you 
if you draw any line ver uh, horizontally here, it will be not a one-to-one -one function. So to make it one-to-one -one function, you have to stop here because after that, you're getting again another value of y for another value of the range. So your restrictions is until zero. So g is a one-to-one -one function for all the values of x less than or equal to zero. So from zero and less than or equal to zero. As long as you're going that way, it's a one-to-one -one function. Or if you start from here and then you're going to that way, also it's a one-to-one -one function. So, so your, your cutoff point is x equal to zero. For this to be a one-to-one -one function, here if all the points are only one except here. If you draw a horizontal line, you'll have two points. So you have to eliminate A or B. So here you can write A or B, both are correct answers. If you remove A or you remove B, it will be a one-to-one -one function.